Well, hello, hello, hello. Hey, everybody. It is so wonderful to see you joining. Thank you for those pretty hearts. Great to see the saints of the Most High God. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Great to see the saints coming in on today. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. When we get to 200 people, I will flip the camera. Oh my goodness, I forgot how much fun Periscope is. What in the what, what, what? Okay, here we go. What's up, Periscope? Where you guys been? It's more like, where, where have I been? I have been, I forgot how much fun Periscope is because we've been doing all this relevant church and the Wednesday word. What's up with the glare? Oh my goodness. It's that window though. All right, can I block it? Ooh, okay, I can block. Mm -mm. All right, that's the best I can do. We've been doing the Wednesday word on Wednesday. Obviously, we've been, I've been doing the Wednesday morning prayer call on Wednesday. Obviously, we've been doing the Thursday Bible study with my husband, John. Praise God. We've been doing the relevant church service at four o'clock on Sundays, which is going to go down later on today. Praise the Lord. So I have not been on Periscope because God's had me busy doing other stuff. But this word must go forth. And I was not uh, I did not get released to attach it to the message for today. As a matter of fact, my my instruction was to release it uh, right away. And so uh, I must do this before I eat, before we get to the relevant church service, this word must be released over you. It must be released over the body of Christ. It must be released over the ecclesia. You have a right to know, says God, what is coming for you. Says the Lord of hosts, praise the Lord. You have a right to know what he is planning to do. Oh God, oh hallelujah, I feel the anointing of the Lord. You have a right to know uh, the anointing that he has released into the earth realm, praise God, so that you can position yourself so that not, not only do you know what's coming, amen, but so that you can position yourself to tap into it, praise God, because this is what many of us, myself included, I'm claiming this right at the top, this is what many of us have been waiting for, amen. I promise I'm not going to be very long. This is going to be a very short broadcast. As a matter of fact, listen here, if you are in charge if you are at your church service right now, get off your phone. Get off your phone, hang up, shut it down. I won't, I ain't even mad about it, but you gotta, you gotta focus on the church service. I'm not trying to take anybody away from church. This will be up for the replay. It will be up on on uh, YouTube as well, amen. But but if you are not at church, and if the Holy Spirit is giving you uh, permission to listen to this word, uh, then you just may be meant to receive it. This is a prophetic word. We know that a prophetic word can change things. Uh, it's nothing to do with me. It's everything to do with God. It's everything to do with what his plans are, what he's got going on, what he's about to do, what he released, uh, what he's arranged for many of you. And it's just my job to inform you. Praise the Lord. So uh, my name is Prophet Jolyn Whitaker. I'm in full-time prophetic ministry. Together with my husband, John, we, um, we, we, we put together Relevant Church. It's an online church community. You can learn more about about me and in the church at the link in my bio, but I really want to keep it to about you because these messages are never about me. I promise you I'm here to bring God glory and I simply must be obedient as a willing servant. But I'm hearing in my spirit, Holy Ghost is telling me that many of the saints listening already that you, you've tuned in, you're here, praise the Lord, but you have so much stuff going on in your life and you just need somebody to speak over you and to pray for you and to stand with you. If that is you, hit the link in my bio and just send me a prayer request. You don't have to tell me anything but your first name, baby. You don't have to tell me the situation. You don't have to tell me the details. To be honest with you, Holy Spirit might tell me some details. Maybe, maybe not. I have, I don't run this. God runs this. But if you want to just give us your first name, we will pray for you. Prayer is powerful. And that's all I'm going to say about that because I don't want to because I already see how this can go. I, this could end up being completely hijacked uh, on these things. So if you need prayer, and if you're just going through something to where you need prayer, number one, send us a prayer request. All we need is your first name. We pray for every single person who writes to us. It's it's not any kind of, uh, you know, a, 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 no, we pray for you. Uh, and then the second thing would be, 
If you are struggling in your life, if you are struggling with identity, if you're struggling with your purpose, if you're just struggling, uh, or if you are not yet where you know you are called to be, mm -hmm, if you are not yet living the life that you are know that you know you are called to live, then the four o'clock service is going to be for you. Amen. That's all I'm going to say about that. But I want to get to this morning's uh, prophetic word, and this is a prophetic word, and I want to make sure that I emphasize this because that means for those of you who this is going to apply to. And I want to tell you, to God be the glory, I know for a fact there is somebody here listening right now. Oh my God, I feel a flow. All right, I hope it's all right with you, but I got a flow before I even get to our topic. But there is somebody here listening right now, uh, and you have you have gone through a season of hell, and it has been a real struggle of you, uh, struggle for you rather. I feel as though you were married to a man that you believed was you know your your the love of your life. You would have been content and very happy to be married to him for the rest of your lives, uh, but he walked out on you. He walked out on you he had somebody else waiting in the wings the name for that is adultery all right uh, the, 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 the the name for that is adultery so you you have a scripturally legal divorce praise God and you have gone through a season to where you've been all over the place first you said I don't want anybody else then you're talking about I don't even know if I even want to live then a spirit of suicide was trying to come on you then you you just you couldn't even pay attention at your job and can I just say this and please don't let me offend you but it is a job it's not a career no judgment I've held many jobs but it's a job it's not a career you know that you are you're made for more you know that you you know you're ready for more but you're finally getting to a place where you're really focusing on being obedient you know you're beautiful and you really are you're actually a very pretty woman dark hair you got, you got long beautiful dark hair uh, you know that you 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 know you're a lovely lovely person and you know that you're beautiful what happened to you had nothing to do with you it's everything to do with that man and uh, and and using the word man is actually a very generous word uh, because that's not the word I want to use and the old me would have used another word that I cannot say anymore but uh, enough said about that let me get out of that so you have gone through this season of hell and God said that I have to tell you right now that he's getting ready to promote you he's getting ready to open a door for you he's getting ready to you're gonna go from glory to glory your whole everything about you is going to change uh, I don't know if you saw that prophetic word last night where there's a kind of elevation that comes on you and it can only come from God and that's when everything changes your whole perspective on life changes your day-to-day -day view changes because probably your geography is changing or your you know your job will change and just everything changes and this is something that can only come from the Lord you can try to do it for yourself but it doesn't work out quite as well you can't finagle it you can't beg for it you can't pray for what you can pray for but that won't make him release it unless he wants to so that it only comes from Yahweh himself and he has he is saying that he has watched you he has seen you he saw you cry yourself to sleep many many nights and there were nights that the last words you said before you fell asleep where I love you God please help me my God oh my God I love you Lord please help me Jesus help me if you can hear me Jesus will you please help me and there were nights it was the last thing you said God said I'm about to help you I'm going to help you and your ex not only is he going to be sorry now listen between you and I woman to woman you shouldn't feel that way and I know it and you know it however come on now the way he did you it didn't have to be as bad as all that he could have had some honor about it but he had no honor he could have done things in a much more respectful way there was complete disrespect so uh so 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 here it is psalm 23 and 5 he's gonna see you so happy and it's not even that he's gonna be sorry he is gonna be sorry all right so there you go sweetheart all right so you're gonna get that God's going to throw that out for you. So you're going to be, he's going to be sorry. You're going to get that. But see what, what the Holy Spirit is showing me is that by the time he sees you blessed and happy, oh, sweetheart, it's going to be so real for you. You are going to be so incredibly happy 
he's going to know that you're completely over him. You're on a whole other level. You're in a brand new place. You're a brand new girl. I love your hair, but you're going to cut it. You're going to have this, can I say hot? Are prophets allowed to say hot? I just said, you're going to have this hot hairstyle. Not short, don't worry, because I know your long hair is your, it's your thing, baby. I, look at me, okay, I get it. But you're going to have this, this, and you're going to look different. You're going to be different. Everything about you is different. And that is going to be the manifestation of Psalm 23 and 5, where the Lord prepares the table for you in the presence of, um, because he is now God's enemy because of what he did to you. And he, you know what the funny thing is? I know he said he believes in God. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't understand who God is. And matter of fact, I promise you, you can't even see it today. You totally hijacked this whole broadcast. It probably was a setup for you, but that's all right. Um, you are going to get to a point where you actually pray for him and you say, Lord, just help him because he is on his way to hell and doesn't believe it. He he actually believes he's gonna he's gotta get out of hell card, okay? Like like it's Monopoly or Scrabble or something, all right? He actually believes, you know, he was justified to do the stuff he did. So so you are going to get to a point where you actually are able to pray for the man. Praise the Lord. That's awesome. All right, so there's your word. I'm not even mad about the fact that you hijacked this because I know it was a setup that you were supposed to be here. Amen. And, and I just heard also that you normally work on Sundays. Ha! <laughs> you normally work on Somebody said, you know this is me. I don't know who you are. I have no idea who that was, especially since you don't have a picture of that. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the, but it could be you. I don't know. I literally have no idea, but it could. You know who you are. Uh, Holy Spirit is going to confirm all of this for you. Praise the Lord. But for everybody else listening, it is time for me to release this prophetic word over you. It's a powerful word. Let me see if I can help our lighting. Hold on. I don't know if that's better or worse, but let's just go with it because we need to go forward. Praise God. Uh, so if you um, would please do so, share this broadcast. Swipe to the right on an iPhone. Swipe up on an Android device. Uh, if you have one of the newer phones, that means you got those cute little three buttons at the bottom. You got to work your buttons. Share this with somebody else. You're not going to hear me talk about myself. This is just not who I am. It's not how I am. If you want to know anything about me, you'll, you'll come find me. But I'm here to represent the Lord. I'm here as a prophet of the Lord. I'm here to do my job. Amen. Because my will is to do the will of the one who sent me. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray very quickly, but I'm asking you to please share this so that this word can bless other people. It's going to bless you. It's going to be a major, major blessing for some of you you'll see who you are too very quickly but i wanted to bless as many people as possible so i thank you for the shares let's pray quickly and then i want to get to the word spirit of the living god i come before you in the mighty and matchless name of jesus christ god and i just give you glory father i ask you to bless me and anoint me to release this word accurately oh god uh, with forensic accuracy let it manifest oh god father i desire to please you i desire to bring you glory oh god i desire for this word to do uh, your will which is blessed the people that you have gathered to this platform, oh God. And Father, I ask you to open their hearts and their minds and their spirits to receive the fullness of this word so that it can bear much fruit in their lives. God, I bind every foul devil that would dare to come against this word. I block and cancel every assignment to interrupt this word in the name of Jesus by the power of the blood of Jesus. God, I decree and declare protection, blessing, expansion, and increase over this broadcast of oh God that it is going to go forth and multiply throughout the body of Christ and affect many people and manifest in a way that will blow all of our minds. God, we love you. We praise you. We worship you. We exalt your name in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 All right, let's get to this. If you were on the Seek Him Early Wednesday prayer call, then you know there is currently an anointing in the earth realm. It is two anointings. It is an establishment anointing, but it is also a rapid growth anointing. Now, we don't have time to go into detail. You got to go back and get that word. You can watch it on Periscope. You can also watch it on YouTube, but it's the Seek Him Early Wednesday prayer call from August. I believe it was August 2nd, 
All right, I believe so. And you can get the verses, you can get the Bible verses to back this up, but God has an establishment anointing that is currently at work in the earth realm very quickly because he seeks to establish you. He wants to establish you in a good, solid home base where you are not beholden to anybody, where you are not underneath anybody, where some, some uh, you know, ornery landlord can't pull the rug out from under your feet. He seeks to establish you. He seeks to establish not only you in, in terms of your home, home front but in terms of your finances in terms of your family he wants to liberate you he wants to uh, strengthen you and he wants to establish you watch me because number one when you look good he looks good and when you are firmly established here it is when you are firmly established you can do your, uh, what God is going to call you to do much better and you bear much better witness Praise, praise the Lord. And if you don't like that, uh, you got to take that up with God. And I'm going to leave that right there. And you can pick it up and run with it. Or you can choose to reject it. But that is what God is doing. The second anointing that is currently at work in operation as we speak in the body of Christ. And I pray to God. Let me get rid of this. Hold on. I pray. Oop, uh, I'll go back and get that. John, if you're on if you're on here, sweetheart, grab the trolls for me, sweetheart. Um, and I pray to God that you reach out and grab hold of this and, and receive it. Amen. Uh, the second anointing currently at work is rapid growth. Some of you are going to achieve in a very short time what has taken other people years to achieve. I'm talking about growth. It is rapid growth, an expansion of your territory, an expansion of your goals, an expansion of your empire, an expansion of your ministry, an expansion of your career, an expansion of your business. Business, an expansion of the legacy that you are attempting to build for your family. This is a, a personal prophetic word for somebody. You have been the David that rose up and slayed your Goliath. And so now that the generational curse is out of your way, watch me. This is powerful. Now that the generational curse is no longer blocking you, watch this. The generational blessings are now flowing, baby. So God wanted me to confirm for you that you have an anointing for rapid growth. The walls are down. The curse Verses is over. Amen. And so now the blessings are going to flow and you are going to be the one to grab it and run with it and establish the legacy level generational blessing that's going to bless not only you, but your kids and other members of your family, you know, for your generation and future, because uh, there is a rapid growth anointing. I'm seeing businesses, land, homes. This is for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. But it's also for all of us. It is a rapid growth anointing. Whatever you have your hand on right now, according to Deuteronomy chapter 28, and again, you got to go back on the broadcast and get all the verses to, to back this up because the Lord was very uh, specific. But according to Deuteronomy 28, whatever you put your hands on in this particular season of this anointing, it's going to grow rapidly. So if God gave you anything, if he dropped anything in your spirit, if he gave you a book idea, if he gave you a ministry idea, if he gave you a business idea, if he gave you a conference idea, if he gave you a blog idea, I don't know, if he gave you a foundation idea, whatever he told you, this is your time to really just go for it because there is an anointing for rapid growth, but it's going to be up to you to step under that spout. Like my pastor always says, you got to get under the glory spout. You got to, or rather, he says, you got to get under the spout where the glory comes out. And then that's how you, you know, you, you blow up and rapidly grow. Amen. So he, so that is the basis for the word that I'm about to release. We didn't even get to our word yet, praise God. But that is the basis. So we have those two anointings at work. And I got to tell you, I, to me, this is such a setup for our acceleration and our success as the body of Christ because God is doing this. God said it. He called the order. The orders came down from the throne. He is that serious about your advancement. He wants to move you. He wants to shift you. He wants you to go. He wants you to rise. Amen. It's not your time to decline. It's your season to rise. Praise the, praise the Lord. So he is very serious about this and he must be because I'm about to release what he's told me to and it's going to be a third word on top of the other two now three there's something about the number 
three. And so for many of you, it is going to be very much um, just like you are going through that three-day period where you are, in, uh, you, first you feel like you're dying, then you're in the grave, and then bam, you're up again and you're back. And, and it's, it's just like, and everybody's like, ooh, you know, they got that, that face, you know, that emoji. Uh, I love that cat emoji face. I use that all the time for my cat because he's, well, you all know how my cat is, but you know that, ooh, because people are going to see, and they're going to be like, wait, what? I thought that person was completely down and out. No, you've got these three anointings currently at work. So the first is an establishment anointing. The second is a rapid growth anointing. Praise God. Here is the third one. And there's something powerful about this number three. It is a micro season of open doors, open doors, open doors, open doors, open doors, open doors. According, of course, uh, uh, to Isaiah 22 and 22. Now, there may be some people who are not going to be very happy about the doors that are about to open for you. But they did not call you. They did not qualify you. They didn't create your assignment. And they certainly didn't anoint you. So they have no say about it. And God does not necessarily call the qualified. He He qualifies those he called. Somebody said, get over it. Exactly. They're just going to have to just, you know, wait. Like wrap their head around it, get over it. And if they can't, they just got to go sit down somewhere because God is about to open doors for many of you. Uh, currently, what you've been going um, through, well, let me, I'll get to that in a moment, but it is a season of open doors. Now, listen, I'm going to tell you quite honestly, I, I, I don't really ask a lot of questions when this information comes to me. Um, maybe some prophets do, and, and I know that Moses had that relationship, and even Elijah had that relationship, but I don't have that relationship with God. I, I just pretty much, I, he speaks, I write stuff down, I repeat, I, I don't really ask a lot of questions, so I didn't ask him, well, how long is this going to last? I, he didn't say, I didn't ask. Uh, so I encourage you to just go for it right now, because I don't know how long it's going to last, but it is a season of open doors, but God said specifically, these open doors are going to be a setup for many of you. It's going to be a setup for divine, for you to walk into divine appointments that angels have already gone ahead and arranged for you. Amen. Angels have already gone ahead and arranged certain things for you. And these open doors are going to be a setup for you to walk right into divine appointments. You are going to walk right into a divine appointment. You're going to meet the person who, who you need to meet. You're going to make a, a connection that you need to have. You're going to meet the individual who's going to support you. You're going to meet the individual who's got the information you need. You're going to meet the individual who finally help you because somebody listening to me right now, I don't know who you are, but somebody listening to me right now, you have people around you who do what you're trying to do. They've done what you, what you're trying to do right now. They could help you if they want to, but they don't. And let me just tell you, I'm, I'm actually going to say something about this later. You always got to watch the ones that can help you, but don't. You know what I'm saying? Because those are the ones who, you know, they say one thing, but how they really feel about you and all of your potential and your anointing is clearly a different story. Because if they wanted to help you, and if they really believed in you, and if they were really happy for you, they would help you. But no, the fact that they don't help you tells you something. It ought to tell you something. And that something is that they're a little threatened by you. They want you to do good, but not too good. They want you to do well, but just not better than me. So please. Please be careful. I don't know who this is for, but there's somebody, you're here, you're listening, praise the Lord, uh, that there is somebody in your life, and my God, this individual could have, she talks about you too, sweetheart, I hate to tell you, but she does. She says one thing to you, she's super, super sweet to you. In fact, can I say this? Almost a little too sweet, like a little too, I could give you details. Oh Lord, why'd you give me a picture? I don't want to say it. I don't want to say the details. I really, really don't. I really want to get out of this. But when the Lord shows me pictures, it's never for my own entertainment. So I have to tell you, I'm seeing like a bright pink lipstick, very bright pink lipstick. Um, 
This is a meticulous individual. I'm just going to say it like this. It is a meticulous individual, very meticulous with appearance, very meticulous with what they portray about their, their, their look, their platform, their social media presence, very particular. And when you, when you are taught to this individual, very sweet to you, very nice to you up front, but behind your back, there's stuff that is said that if you heard it, you would be like, you're not my friend. You don't support me whatsoever. You don't want me to succeed whatsoever. Matter of fact, now that it occurs to me, you could have helped me 25 different ways and you didn't help me any kind of way. So there it is. There's your confirmation. So far, two people have hijacked this broadcast. It was a setup for me. Like, okay, so listen, so what, so this already manifested. So I came on here thinking I'm just going to release the word, but no, it was a setup. It was actually your divine appointment with me. All right, God. Okay, God. I, I see you. I see the way you work. He's 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 something. He'll, he'll, he's something. He'll he'll set you up. He'll set you up. Somebody said, "LOL, sorry. I'm not sorry whatsoever because you know what? Can I get some setups, Lord? I am your faithful servant. I do everything you tell me to do. Can you set me up, Lord?" I can almost cry, but let's, let's just go forward. So the Lord says that it's going to be a setup. These are going to be divine appointments. And for some of you, it will be mutually beneficial. What do I mean by that? I mean, they're going to help you, but you're going to find that you can also help them. They're going to have information for you. They're going to have advice for you. They're going to have, hey, let me introduce you to so-and-so. They're going to have connections for you. They might have some financial support for you, but you are also going to uh, realize that you have something for them as well, okay, because sometimes, and I just hear this um, by the Spirit of, of God, praise the Lord, so I have to say it, sometimes it's not easy way up high at the top uh, to where you, you're not sure who you can trust around you, and you miss those those simple days where, uh, where the people who were in your life were there because just because, not because they wanted anything from you or not because they wanted to know you because you're an awesome person to know or it's cool to know you. So they're just going to find you very refreshing. And so what you're going to give them several things, but specifically for one person, a third prophetic word, Lord, a third one. Wow, wow, wow. Talk about setups. So specifically for one person, you, you are going to be a refreshing for the individual who's going to help you. And they're going to help you all kinds of ways. They're going to show you what to do. They're going to tell you what to do. They got advice for you. And you're just going to be a, a breath of fresh air. Because up top, it's brutal up there. And there's some really... I'm not even on my second page. We got to move forward. I think you know, I think you got the point. Amen. Divine appointments that are going to be mutually beneficial. It will be a win-win for many of you. Praise God. Now, uh, as we go forward, I want to just qualify this because it's very important that I do so. As we go forward, I, I'm obligated to tell you that this word is not for... Back on Periscope, back to the hair problems, which means that any minute the cat will probably walk in as well. Just come on. Where are you? Come on in. All right, there's just a joke. So, so the, what, what we're going to go for, um, go forward and say is not going to be for everybody. How will you know that it's for you? Uh, because number one, it will immediately bear witness in your spirit. Your baby may leap in your belly. Uh, and then thirdly, you'll see it happen. <laughs> okay. I mean, you will see it happen. I don't know if you caught on the Wednesday um, prayer call, but it happened again. There were some personal prophetic words. And by that morning, okay, before lunchtime, the people uh, who the word was for called and confirmed, and it was forensically accurate. I'm not bragging on myself. I'm bragging on the Lord because I don't know nothing unless he tells me anything. So, this will begin to happen for you, and that's how you'll know that it's ultimately, that's how you'll know it's for you. Uh, now, some so-called prophets won't tell you that. They'll let you believe that, no, this is about to hit your life in three days, and I'll get, no, 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 no. I, I, I can't mislead you like that. I have to be honest and forthcoming and, and, and upfront with you. So now we're going to get into the details of the word. Swipe to the right. Share this with somebody. Uh, you can't keep this to yourself. If you have not yet shared, go ahead and do so. I want to bless as many people as possible. 
possible. Amen. And we just want to go ahead and get this out. And I thank you for the shares. Praise the Lord. So God is saying that it is your time to advance. He said, don't look at how situations are around you. Don't go by um, the, the, the hand grenades that have been detonating around you. Some of you have literally had things blowing up around you. And it's, it hasn't even been one thing. It's been many things. And God said, that has been a strategy to, to and we're going to get that there in a moment. But that has been a strategy, not even to distract you, but to disable you, to get you so bound up mentally, so overwhelmed mentally and emotionally so that you're, you can't even stay focused. But God said, that is exactly why you must advance. This is according to, I want you to look this up when you have time. I was going to read it, but we're so behind right now. Joshua chapter 5, verses 13 verse 13 through Joshua 6 verse 5 read the whole thing when you have a chance Joshua 5 13 through 6 5 read the whole thing you will learn that Joshua received his very specific marching orders from the captain of the Lord's host I need to tell you right now I prophesy that many of you are going to have angelic assistance God is going to be sending angels to not only prepare the way prepare the uh, divine appointments but to open the doors for you and to give you specific instructions Joshua received very specific instructions it didn't make sense matter of fact it was a little unconventional but the Bible says his ways are not our ways don't question don't analyze advance 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 God said that you are about to break through the barrier that was erected to block you you are about to break through the barrier that the enemy erected to block you there's your confirmation this barrier was very strategically erected by the enemy I want you to read Joshua chapters 7 and 8 when you have a chance because you must learn from what happened after they had that huge victory at Jericho, after they had that huge open door, they went in, they took the city, they received the instructions, the walls came down, they took the, then they went on to fight the battle of, and some people could say I, some people say I, I, E, all right, but AI is how it's spelled. They went on to go fight that lesser battle, and it was definitely a lesser battle. It should not have been a problem. It should have been a very easy win for them, but you must learn from what happened there was Hebrew life lost why because there was sin in the camp therefore the Spirit of the Lord was not able to function as powerfully as he would have uh, the angels of the Lord were not able to be in, a, in abundance as they could have so if anybody listening under the sound of my voice has sin in your life get it out now you cannot afford to miss the opportunity for rapid growth you cannot afford to miss the opportunity for establishment. You cannot afford to miss the opportunity for in this season of open doors simply because you are lagging and dragging and sagging and you don't want to get the sin out. You better learn from what happened in Joshua 7 and 8 because it can block your breakthrough. However, for the people who are going to be wise and position themselves, consecrate themselves, choose to live holy, amen, God is holy, we must be holy, 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 9, that's it, he said it, it's non-negotiable. So for those of you who choose to do so, you are about to break through the barrier that was built to not only block you, listen to me carefully, but the box that was built to contain you. Some of you have such a powerful anointing and calling on your life that it's not, it wasn't even enough for Satan to block you. He had to try to contain you because he knows if you ever break through out of that box, you are going to be a force to be reckoned with because, and you're going to be just a trouble. 
Okay, you're just going to be trouble. Uh, it's going to be a situation for demons. It's going to be a problem for the principality in your city. And you're just going to be a real big problem. So this one doesn't need just a barrier. This one doesn't need just a block. Build a box. Box them in. All right. But God said that some of you are even going to break through the box that was built to contain you. Now, I want to just kind of veer off right here. It's a very important little caveat. Very important that you hear this. Um, with demons comes chaos. Let that sink in. I'm going to take a sip of my chai. Let the demons comes chaos. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> that's why some of you have had so much chaos in your life. The kids, the money, the people at work, crazy, acting crazy all of a sudden, uh, your relationship, just everything, just so much. With demons comes chaos. Now, I'm not talking about the chaos that the Lord will sometimes allow. Please listen to me. Because chaos uh, that has been allowed by the Lord is very often the byproduct. Listen, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to teach you. It's very often the byproduct of God dismantling or disabling or destructing something that's got to go. Because sometimes the Lord will destruct something once it has served its purpose. So once the job has served its purpose, he'll, he'll yank it, okay? Once the relationship has served its purpose, he'll yank it. Once, uh, okay, so you get the point. So sometimes the chaos that you experience is not an attack. Sometimes it's God just taking, taking, like, uh, disabling something that is no longer needed. Or it can also sometimes be that you are simply reaping what you sowed. Because, you know, if you, if you're living a chaotic, sinful life, you're going to have chaos and sin around you. But that's not what we're talking about right now. Chaos can sometimes precede construction. Listen, chaos can sometimes precede, be the precursor to construction only when the chaos was allowed by God. However, that's not what we're talking about right now. We are talking about demonic chaos. And when you have crazy chaos in your life, it's not just that the relationship fell apart. It's not just that, you know, the, the dude broke up with you. It's not just that you caught your kid smoking pot. I mean, I, you know what I'm saying, okay? So it's not just those things. It's many things all at once. And now your head is buzzing and you feel like you've got bees buzzing around you and you're completely overwhelmed and you can't sleep. Yeah, that's demons. Now, I will tell you this, and they hate it when I say this, but I don't care what they hate. I'm sure they hate me very much. Um, but demons are very usually completely unorganized. They fight within themselves. There are factions within their own ranks. Uh, you know, the principalities can barely control even their heads demons. It's, 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 it's hilarious, quite frankly, and they think there's such a force. Uh, okay, whatever. But but there's very often just chaos. They're always in chaos. They compete with one another. They're just, they're just vile, ridiculous creatures. But I will tell you this. They will come together and organize when they're trying to bring somebody down. Yeah. That's the one time that they will come together and organize when they're trying to bring somebody down. And I can tell you a whole bunch about why, because they get prizes from Satan and they get little perks from Satan and all kinds of other stupid stuff. I'm not going to give him any air, air time. He's not going to get any of this conversation here. But, but so that's why. So they will come together and organize for an important assignment. And, and, and very often it's to bring somebody down. They can see when you're anointed. They can see when you're appointed. They can see when you have extra angels sent to you. Uh-oh, that one just got angels. What the heck's going on over there? Go, we got to get together and go do something. And so they will create chaos in your life, right? So, but some of you are getting ready to step through. You're getting ready to break through the barrier that was built to, to block you and the box that they built to contain you. And here's what you can expect. Listen carefully. Here it is. This is getting to the best part. And then we're done, quite frankly. 
You can expect to capture a strategic prize. You can expect to capture a strategic opportunity. You can expect to capture strategic territory. You can expect to attain a very strategic position because anytime there has been organized demon activity to block you or box you, it is because there is something huge to be attained that they're trying to keep you from. So it's going to be a strategic door opening for you. It's going to be a strategic territory you're about to take. It's going to be a strategic opportunity you're about to get. It's going to be a strategic blessing you're about to step into. It's going to be a strategic financial windfall that will enable you to go forth. It will be a strategic territory that you invade and take. It will be a strategic position where you uh, rise to and attain amen on the other side of this barrier, outside of this box. So uh, as a quick recap, there is currently, the first anointing is an anointing for establishment. I need you to receive it in Jesus' name. The Lord wants to establish you financially on the home front, in your home life, in your family life, establish you, strengthen you. It makes him look good, makes you calmer, and it makes you able to be used more freely without distraction. Amen. Plus, that's just how he is. He's a good father. He likes to take care of his own. Praise God. The second anointing in the earth realm is an anointing for rapid growth, rapid growth, uh, quick acceleration. Somebody's about to go on the fast track. Amen. Go back on the prayer call, get all the details. Praise the Lord. Um, and for many of you, the distraction and the destruction and the attacks have never been higher because the stakes have never been higher because the prize and the potential has never been higher. So that is why they've been coming at you in force. The stakes have never been higher because the potential has never been higher. Ooh, I feel the anointing on that one. The third one is this micro season of open doors that is going to lead you to strategic acquisition. And that is the word of the Lord on today. That is the prophetic word of the Lord on today. I have another um, word I'm going to preach later, but that is a prophetic word. How will you know that any of this is for you? Number one, you got to receive it. Number two, you got to make sure you're in good standing with God. Get the sin out of your life. Give your life to Christ. Get out any of the contamination, anything in the Bible that the Lord calls sin is sin. Get that out. And then you position yourself and you are able to tap in. So ask, say, God, I want those things. Please um, release it to me, Lord. I please claim it. Matter of fact, say it right now out of your mouth. Say, I claim this in the name of Jesus. I claim this in the name of Jesus. Come on, say it one more time. Third time. I claim this in the name of Jesus. I bind every foul spirit that would dare to come against you by the authority of the king. I uh, decree and declare financial uh, release over you, financial increase over you, an improvement in your health, an improvement in your mind. The depression is going to go. All of the depression medications are going to go. Somebody here has got a battle, battle all several addictions. Ah, we got alcohol, we got porn, and we have a third thing. They, it's a drug. Okay, so but I break that off of you in the name of Jesus. You are, you, 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 you feel like you're, you're fighting for your sanity. You feel like you're hanging on by a thread. You feel like you're hanging on by a thread for your life. Well, I want to tell you something. It is a divine appointment for you to be here. I decree and declare freedom over you in the name of Jesus. You need to come to Christ. You need to rededicate yourself. I know you got baptized before. I see you. I know you got baptized before, but listen to me carefully. Since then, you have then gone on to renege on everything you said you were going to do. I'm not judging you. I'm helping you. You reneged on everything. You must rededicate your yourself. You've got to get rebaptized. You've got to get resaved. You've got to get into a good Bible-based church, if, a Holy Ghost-filled church, okay? Because you need the Holy Spirit to give you your deliverance. Uh, and if you don't have a church, come follow my church online. We do Sunday service. We do a Sunday Bible study. Uh, I will speak into you. I will pray for you. Uh, I see you. You're hanging by a thread, baby. But all that is going right now because this is the day that's going to start your turnaround. Are you hearing me? 21 days. 
Write it down, mark your calendar. Within 21 days, you're going to see such a turnaround in your life that many people are going to say, what in the world happened? Nothing did it. How did this happen so quickly? And you are going to be able to say, Jesus, amen. So I just need you to receive that and then be obedient, okay? All right, guys, I love you all very much. I got to go because we got to get ready for our church service. We'll see you at four o'clock Eastern time for the relevant church service. Until then, I'm praying for you. I love you very much. God bless you.